Hello friends, welcome to Cool IT Help and this is Auto A tutorial for beginners part 1. In this tutorial session, we are going to discuss on following points. And these are the basics of the Auto A script writing concepts. So you can see we have these points like uh, I will show you how you can declare the variables. So uh, you have the same situation in other languages as well and we have the facility to use the variables and after that we will see how to perform the join operation with variables and with a string after that we will see how many types of scopes are there for these variables and then we will do uh, some operation like arithmetical operation on concatenation operations on the string and we will perform the arithmetic operation with the integer numbers so i will show you how you will declare the string how you will declare a number and how you can perform the arithmetic operations here in the auto it script writing so we are going to discuss all these points let's begin okay let me uh, expand this notepad there are some important points that i want to tell you so i have noted down all the course content so we will go through this so guys auto it allows us to store some data in variables and these variables can be used further in a script whenever required as you know the other scripting languages and other programming languages have the variables and you can define the variables assign some value and then you can use it further somewhere now first we will understand how to declare variables in auto it script writing this is very easy i will show you practical as well so guys if you want to declare a variable you need to start the variable with dollar sign whenever you need to declare a variable put the dollar sign first then decide the name for that variable for deciding and giving the name to the variable there is a uh, naming convention you can use the letters numbers and underscore only only these three things are allowed for creating a variable name let's do a practical in auto it editor so i'm going to open the auto it editor window there we will write some code and we will see some practical an example that i have written i have declared a variable and assigned some values so this variable name is the combination of letters, numbers and underscore. And how you are assigning this string? Simple, whatever string you want to assign, just put in single quotes. And this is the message box calling and I'm setting that variable value here. Okay, we will do this thing in the script editor. So I will copy this code and here this is the script editor. Now I'm going to paste the script here. If you directly landed on this tutorial session and if you still don't know how to uh, open this and how to download and install the auto it script editor then you guys please watch my first tutorial session on auto it in which I have explained everything from the beginning to the end. All the installation process has been explained in that video link given in description please watch that video first and you can come back here and continue with this video now i have uh, pasted that script here you can see here the declaration of the variable is starting with the dollar so i'm doing a change here now the variable name is name and starting with dollar symbol after that i'm assigning a string like uh, this is cool it help uh, which is inside the single quotes so this is the way to uh, declare the variable and assign a string to it after that i'm using a message box to read that assigned value so this is the way this is the message box ready-made function you can call it and this needs three parameters one then you have to give the title which is my title that will appear on the title bar of the message box after that you have to give the message so we are giving the message as a variable now the script is saved which is already saved on my system with the extension au3 now i will run it after saving your script 
you have to go and you have to search the run script utility so this is 64 bit machine so i am using this script utility which comes with the uh, auto it installation package so just click on it and this will open a file selection browse dialog box so here you need to search that script you just saved select it and click open now script execution done and the message box appeared with the message so the message is uh, retrieved through the variable uh, the variable which we have used uh, dollar name okay so this way you can assign the value and if you want to read the value you have to use the dollar sign dollar with the name of the variable I hope uh, this is clear to you. Now we're moving further and we will understand few more concept. Now the question is, do we have different kind of scope for the variables? Yes, we have. We can use local and global keywords to define the scope for these variables. So we have only two scope for these variables. First one is local and the second one is global. So what is the use of local? Local variable can be accessed only in defined functions only. As you have seen in other languages, programming languages, in the same way, local variable can be accessed only in defined functions. And the second uh, scope is global. If I'm defining any variable global, then this kind of variable can be accessed across all the scripts. So how you can declare it? Simple, use the keyword just before the declaration of variable. So this is the example. If you want to declare your variable local or global, use this keyword this way. Now moving further, let's understand more about the variables. Now we will see the concatenation and join operation on these variables, or you can say we are going to perform some join operations on the strings so whenever you need to perform a join operation then what you will do i will show you here i have just copied that uh, code from the notepad and just pasted here now you can look at here we have these three variables uh, my string one my string two and my string three and we have some text some string assigned to these variables now we are going to perform the join operation whenever you need to join you need to use ampersand to join a string or uh, you can uh, say you can concatenate more than two three four five strings together and uh, with the help of ampersand so use the first variable put ampersand then second variable ampersand then third variable so this way we are trying to concatenate and then the result will be assigned to new string so i have done this thing and i am using message box to print the result here we go now you can see so the result is first one the concatenation welcome to cool it help which is stored here in this string and now which i have passed here in the message box to display look at here okay i hope this is clear to you and guys one more uh, way you have if you don't want to use the variables you can direct perform the concatenation or joining operation on the string so you can use these strings uh, without the variables you can directly place the string this way so i have uh, replaced the third variable with the string cool it help and now here i'm doing one more change now uh, replaced the first variable with this string welcome and the rest of the things is as it is and uh, now trying to concatenate with the ampersand so this also work and result is assigning inside this final string one and now i will use this final string in the message box to display okay that's simple uh, saved now going to run the script here we go now you can see the same result so there is no difference if you need uh, the variables 
in some places you can go with that if you don't need that you can directly use the strings and you can perform the concatenate concatenate operations now we will see how to work with the string and the integers so suppose you want to perform the arithmetic operations before this i am going to tell you one thing here we have only one kind of data type available in auto it which is called variant in other languages you have seen so many kind of data types available integer float strings but we have the single kind of data type here which is called variant as you have seen in the javascript so whatever you are assigning inside that variable so the data type will be assigned to that variable and if you want to perform some arithmetic operations then these variables will be treated as a integers so i will show you here as a practical now here in the script editor i am doing a change so i am giving my first string the uh, integer 10 the second string uh, the variable name is uh, my string but i am assigning the value 20 and uh, the third one third variable is same as it is no change and now i'm trying to perform the m percent operation that means i'm trying to concatenate but the value is changed here we go so running the script now you can see the result you can find here the 10 and 20 okay 10 and 20 concatenated and they treated as a string but they are not treated as a integers or double they will be treated as a numbers when you will perform arithmetic operations now i have just changed to the multiplication symbol here we go now you can see the 10 and 20 so the multiplication result came which is 200 so 10 multiplied by 20 now we found 200 now the first variable and second variable treated as the number now again um, doing uh, addition between these two variables here we go let's see what happens now we found 30 so i am placing the uh, plus a sign and now i'm trying to add these two variables so this is working and these two variables treated as a number okay now let's uh, divide these numbers these variables so one more operation so i'm going to perform here now you can see we got the result as 0 0.5 which is float so you can see here if you are performing the automatic operations then your variable will be treated as number so automatic type conversion is happening here i hope this is clear to you now one more very variation i want to show you here so with the uh, next line we are doing different things i'm using first as a number then using uh, the joining operation with the second variable then we have a join operation with the third string so we will see the results of this operation here we go now you can see 10 concatenated with the 20 uh, which is the second variable value and uh, which is concatenated with the cool it help string so final result is 10 20 cool it help because if you are performing the string uh, concatenation with the numbers so all numbers will be treated as a string and you will finally get the result as a string i hope this is clear to you and you guys can perform uh, more practice and you can try and test it so you will get the better understanding so this is the way you can perform the arithmetic operation concatenation operation with the strings and we have seen the scope of the variables here so that's all for uh, this video and i will bring the uh, more new concept in the tutorial part 2 of the auto it and uh, i hope to see you there if you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and please subscribe to learn more and for now thanks for watching cool it help